Demonstrators took to Niagara Square in Buffalo today, calling for the immediate reopening of all businesses here in western New York. Some of them told our Dave McKinley that they are not opposed to a cautious approach to it, but that the pace of reopening is simply too slow for their liking. I think in the beginning it made sense to shut down a lot of uh, businesses. But Devin Rusinek and others here say based on what we now know about the virus, based on the dwindling rate of deaths and hospitalizations, based on the still large number of unemployed and the growing number of businesses which may never recover, it's time to lift the restrictions. Now we can walk those back now that new dead has come to life. The governor says that's precisely what we're doing, though, through measured and prudent means. We don't want to make a mistake now and go back to a spike. Today, he once again acknowledged the frustration of those who would like to see things move faster, but insisted we're not out of the woods and there's a real danger if we proceed too quickly. It's our actions that are creating the infections. I don't believe what the government is telling us. The state assemblyman David DiPietro joined in the demonstration and says if measures like wearing masks and maintaining social distancing really did help flatten the curve and continue to do so, then the continued and prolonged phase in of reopening some businesses and not others makes no sense, especially to smaller ones. When you can go to Walmart with eight to 10,000 people a day, but yet your bike shop in your own little town can't see five or 10 people because they're deemed a health hazard, this has all got to stop. The approximately 100 demonstrators were for the most part quiet, at all times peaceful, and we noticed no counter demonstrators with an opposing point of view. But knowing there are others who believe differently, we asked him. David, there might be people out there watching this saying these people are fools, then they're idiots, and they shouldn't be doing this, and we shouldn't be opening up everything right now. I tell them, stay in your home. You want to be scared? By you being scared does not take away my freedoms. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.